And Sheila Jackson Lee reigned supreme yesterday in her re-election bid for the 18th Congressional District. She surpassed former Houston City Council member Amanda Edwards. Our Rochelle Turner live from TSU this afternoon where she spoke with a political science professor about voter turnout and strategies, Rochelle, in that congressional race. And Dr. Michael Adams says that Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is no stranger to Houston. He says that she has a record here in the 18th Congressional District, which includes Texas Southern University. He says she has worked hard to build relationships with other people in the community over the past, over her past 14 terms. And although Amanda Edwards did not win, he says that she did not separate herself from the incumbent. All eyes were on Texas's 18th congressional district race between incumbent Sheila Jackson Lee and Amanda Edwards. I think the, the voters, uh, those who did turn out, turned out, they spoke uh, resoundingly in favor of Sheila Jackson Lee. She got 60% of the vote on yesterday. And I think we saw there in that race the incumbency advantage. That's Texas Southern University political science professor Dr. Michael Adams. He reviewed early voting numbers for the race where Jackson Lee had over 11,000 votes compared to Edwards who had over 7,000 votes. He says most of the people who voted early were baby boomers. They were 60 years of age or older and many of them were women. And that has traditionally been and the base of support for Sheila Jackson Lee. On the other hand, Dr. Adams says Edwards didn't have a clear message. The former city council member dropped out of the race for Houston mayor to focus on being a congresswoman. You, you have to be able to separate yourself from a long-term incumbent. There was no separation in, in the issues, all right? And if you look at it in terms of there are no marquee, even policy ordinance that you can associate with Amanda Edwards. But Sheila Jackson Lee is a known quality. She's been out there for a long time. Edwards hasn't conceded and posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, expressing her gratitude to her family, friends, volunteer supporters, donors, and her team. Could Amanda Edwards write her name, run as like an independent? Yeah, you can always have write-in candidates, but hey, that's, that's a big, far stretch there, and it's highly unlikely. If you didn't have enough time during this campaign to separate yourself, what would happen between now, you know, un unless there's an October surprise? And I think Sheila Jackson Lee being a very wholesome person, there, there's nothing out there where the voters would come back and say uh, they want Ma Amanda Edwards at this point. Right. And I did reach out to Amanda Edwards and Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee for an interview, but I have not heard back at this time. Now, coming up at 5 o'clock, Dr. Adams is going to share more about voter turnout, and he shares why voters were unmotivated this year because a lot of people were already in office. Reporting live from Texas Southern University, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.